I love shooting YouTube videos with no makeup on my face. I am in Berlin, in Germany, and for the last few weeks I've been working on PUBG Europe League. So I did phase three, I did the interviews, and now it's promos week, so how that works is that four of the lowest finishing teams in PEL phase three competes in promos week against 12 of the top teams from PEL phase three contenders, and then there's four spots up for grabs for PUBG Europe League Phase 1 2020. It's the big one, it's a path to pro if you like, and it's it's a really cool way to see new teams rise and for some of the more favorite teams in the PEL to keep their spots. It's, it's a really fun one, four days, and I've been desk hosting, which has been really cool. The reason I have no makeup is because we're heading to studio for the last day, and I actually haven't done any YouTube videos for the whole time that I've been doing PEL because this is quite a big one for me. I'm working with some of the most amazing talent guys that I've watched for years on esports broadcast and I kind of wanted to focus on my job I wanted to learn and I, and I wanted to do the best possible job and I felt like vlogging might take away from that however I'm feeling a bit confident today on the last day and I, I can't miss this opportunity I did do a PEL promos vlog ages ago on my phone um, I'll link it to you but this one's gonna be a little bit different because I'm gonna show you what's been going on and, and kind of some of the changes that have happened between phase two promos and phase three I did mention that I'm working with some incredible people. Sims, Pansy, D-Man, Kolaris, Avenger and Frost, two amazing PUBG analysts, and Red Eye, who the last time I worked with him was my first like proper esports job. He's here as well doing the interviews and I'm probably gonna get emotional before we even do this vlog, but it's just been incredible. When you get to work with the best in the business, you learn so much, they are all just incredibly talented and knowledgeable and I've been trying to soak it all in. It's also made it really tough because you ask for feedback and you get this really good feedback and then you become very aware of the feedback and you're working so hard on, on working on what they said. So uh, I feel like I'm back in school but it's been just so rad and just one of those experiences that no matter what happens in the future with esports for me or, or for work, I this is going to come down to one of those memorable moments and I thought for the last day, I'll take you along. Look, we found people. Coffee time without coffee. Coffee at Red Eye doesn't drink caffeine, so and they don't sell decaf here, but Pansy and I always get coffee from this rad little spot before we go, and I get in the way of everyone. Yes, please. This is the very glamorous laugh. Oh, why am I with the vlogging? All the girls in the back, all the girls in the back. Look at all these amazing things you're seeing. This is the, the magical casting room slash green room slash makeup spot where we live. There's everyone doing some very serious prep in the background. And there's an ironing board. And I look completely different because I have makeup. You just pose in the background. <laughs> This is the incredible makeup artist who always makes me look this impressive before every... You're gonna have a website soon, hey? You can talk to the camera, are you scared? Ah, uh, my... <laughs> okay. <laughs> She's a bit shy. <laughs> you can just look at her for a bit. <laughs> I look completely different now. And I'm gonna do a little, a little walk around of, of what this all looks like. So I'm gonna show you the players, all their, their sort of chill area, they're all eating lunch right now, lunch slash dinner. And I'll show you the actual arena, and then what I'll also do is show you the desk. Some of this you've seen already if you've watched the other video, but now you can see it properly because I filmed that stuff on my phone, so let's go take a look. Look at all these amazing things you're seeing. <laughs> Say 
16 teams, they all compete. This is the arena, so if you watch PUBG Europe League, this is where all the teams play every week. This is where the promo teams are, 16 teams in here. It's pretty impressive, right? This giant warehouse and all the players are set up here. So you saw them all eating, but this is where they're gonna come very soon to play. This is one of the most incredible arenas to be in. It's amazing. It's also really nerve wracking when you're doing interviews because as the game finishes, you have to run around up and down the stairs in the dark to try to find the team that you're going to interview. So that's always fun. But this is the entire setup and, and what it looks like when there's no one in here. All the lights and stuff can be pretty overwhelming. I think I said this in my last video. Like I'm pretty much showing you all the same stuff, but that last video I had to do on my phone. But it's really quite overwhelming in here and I can't imagine what it's like for the players because I get kind of freaked out. But yeah, this is what it looks like pretty rad to think that this is my office. working I'm gonna try to show you a little bit of the behind the scenes stuff we got our, our two screens set up ready to go with all the lights and things and now it's about an hour before the show starts you can see all our mics and stuff are all set up Cross and Avenger their bags are here nothing of interest just clothes and laptops and things uh, and hopefully I'll, I'll be able to show you a little bit of the fun that goes on behind the scenes so basically that's it this is where we work this is what a, a normal day on broadcast looks like. Uh, we'll wait, we'll start, we'll talk, and we'll watch some rap PUBG. Any blockers in the chat? <laughs> Any blockers in the chat? <laughs> You've seen, what have you seen? You've seen the coffee shop by the hotel. <laughs> Someone doing makeup. The lounge. A walk through of this and here's the desk look at all these amazing things you're seeing it's not nearly as exciting as you think it would be this is frost over here doing serious analyst work super serious so always serious always serious and then that's avenger it's five minutes to go so of course he's not at the desk what are you doing who 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 you fucking out who I'll try to show you some of the behind the scenes stuff, but this is pretty much all it is. It's just a bunch of degenerates behaving like degenerates. But what? No! Degenerates? Give me some monster! No! Ah. Red Bull! Ah. Well, I mean. Oh shit, that shit fucks up my makeup. <laughs> nice! Run here. Let's go. Let's go and see if we can see what's going on. Now I'm in the dark. There's casters. That's about as much as you're gonna see of them. They have to go back to work. Oh wait, I can show you something different because he's not playing. There's an actual PEL player here. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Yeah, it's How are you doing, Tomo? I'm yeah. doing good. I'm doing good. How, how has it been chatting to Digital Athletics after your after your comments in the Twitch chat yesterday? No comments. No comments. You know, I'm going to clip those and, and put them up on this video so people know what I'm talking about. <laughs> really? Well, no. I mean, because I'm really lazy and I don't like editing. Do you, do you want to share your, your, Twitch, your Twitch coaching advice? Yeah, 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 hello. That's it. <laughs> He's not gonna <laughs> say. Yeah, just put that up. There we go. I, I'll, I'm not gonna find them because we all know that I really 
just don't give a shit about editing these properties. <laughs> if you want to find them, go and look at the video. Well, why are you here though? Aren't you supposed to be on a little break? Uh, I'm on a break, but I'm living here still because I have a nice ping. Uh, but I like to, I'm watching the boys. Hopefully the boys will advance. That's why I'm here. By the time you see this video, we'll know who the four teams in PEL next year are. But I, I want to know, what are your predictions? It's so even. It's way too even. I already know Ents and Seven is promoted, but it's all up for grabs. I, I can't even predict. It's so crazy. That's what a chicken does. They don't make a commitment. But there you go. So you got to see Tomo from Desperado. He's hanging out here. And there's a bunch of coaches and other people. But this is pretty much what happens behind the scenes. It's kind of it's it's kind of boring for you. It's fun for me. And it's fun if you're watching the show, but I think behind the scenes is pretty chill. This is basically the genius that puts all of this together. That's that is your job. Vitality from Star Ladder. Hey, hey, nice to meet you. Oh. So again some gifts. Did you receive one? No, I did not. Okay. Did you say there are gifts? Let's go. Okay, I'm going to show you a, a, a sneaky look at the, the swag. So I got the, the PUBG bag. I got these super sweet PEL PUBG Europe. Uh, it's got PUBG on the pocket track pants, which are pretty cool. And I really like these because they're clothes here. So for flying, those are comfortable, believe it or not. And then I got this very cool PUBG League shirt. And it says... PUBG League 2019 on the back. I got PUBG beanie. I got cool stickers. And then I got this sweet little like, um, oh my gosh, I'll be able to charge my toothbrush. Weird, weird, <laughs> weird segue. I didn't bring a charger for my electric toothbrush, but if I charge this, I'll, I'll be sorted. So there you go. And I got that too, which is really cool because it's a nice little memento. Uh, and, and memory for being here. I'm very excited about these pants though. I might fly home in them. It is the final game and there were four spots up for grabs. They've been playing for four days, 19 games, and it's coming down to this last game. This is what's going to decide who gets to go to PUBG Europe League next year. So it's actually really exciting. It's like the perfect game, the perfect finish for, for a show. I always feel like for us from broadcast, because you can just hype this up so much, it's going to be tons of fun. I'm also like super shiny, which I just realized. So I'm gonna be shiny, but yeah, we're gonna be watching. I mean, I'm, I'm gonna try to set up the camera so we can get some fun going. Um, but for the most part, like I said, you're seeing everything behind the scenes. You don't actually get to see the action because we're on a show. Also, Martin doesn't care. Okay, I'm gonna go back to work. That's pretty much what happens behind the scenes. I feel like I've given you enough entertainment. I've given you some funnies. I've given you famous people. I'm gonna go back to work. From everyone at the PEL, thank you so much for watching. And of course, we will see you next year. Look at all these amazing things you're seeing. <laughs>